This right here is a 250 watt high pressure sodium lamp. It came out of a light fixture, a street light fixture in the city of Phoenix back in 1985 after it got hit by a car um, and crashed to the ground. So yes, I've had this ballast in my possession since I was 17 years old back in 1985. It is a advanced 250 watt high pressure sodium lamp. You can see the ballast, the capacitor, and the igniter there. And then here is a light bulb with the socket. And it's been about 20 years since I've powered this up. And I just pulled it out of storage. I want to see if it still works. So let's see if it still works. Plug it in. Well, it looks like it still works. See how bright this thing gets. Good old HID technology. There it goes, running just in the straight sodium band. Pure yellow. Very monochromatic. But as it heats up, the mercury and the uh, halides and other stuff inside the tube will start to come in and give it a little bit of a better balance of color. But it is still a sodium light, so still going to have that kind of copper colored look to it. but. I don't know, it seems pretty stuck right here in this brightness. And all these things do take a long time to get bright and heat it up. Yeah, it's getting brighter. Again, it has been since about 1995 or so that this thing's actually had power to it, so... It's like watching paint dry. Oh yeah, it's getting brighter now. came off of a light, uh, a street light fixture, one of those Cobra heads. It was one of those it and or ITT Thompson Electric uh, Cobra heads that uh, was located just north of Coulter on 15th Avenue and it uh, had a drywall truck roll over onto it in the early morning hours of December 22nd, 1985, Sunday morning. I remember I was watching TV and all of a sudden the lights went off for about 45 seconds it came back on then I started hearing sirens and I figured well you know what maybe I better go take a look and see what's going on and then yep sure enough about two blocks away from home I saw the accident and uh, about three hours after everybody left I went out and grabbed what was left of the cobra head and the ballast and whatnot and that's all the stuff that you see here 29 years after it was made, still works. Of course, that's not the original light bulb. That was completely obliterated in the in the damage. But yeah, it's just about at full brightness now. So works pretty good. Just another useless video here for YouTube.
250 watt high pressure sodium that is a GE light bulb advanced ballast GE capacitor and everything works not the best color to work by but they are bright and then they don't use a whole lot of power for the amount of light they create which is why they use them in street lights alright catch you guys later bye now